All right, this area over here is where my dust collector is sitting. That right there is my little 3D printed hokey dust separator. Now I've made one for my little four inch or two inch, excuse me, for the CNC that goes up and it goes along the back wall. I don't know if you could see it with the light in the way, but there's a white pipe going back there. And on the other side of that wall, there's a central air vac with one of these, but much smaller on the other side of that wall. And it works really well. It's probably my biggest download on Prusa printers. Now this my brother gave me and that works pretty well with it. But there's a screen going into the impeller in this. The problem is, is, as you can see on the floor there, around the joiner, those shavings are long. And they hit that impeller. There's like a screen on it. It's just like a star-shaped thing. But it clogs it almost immediately if I hook it up to that. So I decided to design dust separator with a 4-inch pipe that I could 3D print. And here it is. I printed it in multiple parts. It's broken down. It is on Prusa printers right now. This is separate, this is separate. Um, these two are separate, this is separate, that's separate, that's separate. I don't think I have it split that much. I think I split it up more in the slicer because I had printer problems. As you can see, the top is not 3D printed because my printer kicked a bucket in the middle of doing this. I hot glued it together so I could take it apart. I know it's not perfect. It's probably not perfectly sealed, but this is just a test unit. This is a test. This is only a test. I cut the top, crappy piece of MDF, to make the top because the printers had failed. So there it is. It's Again, it's not perfect. If it seems to work, and I think it will, I think what I'll do is just get a can of that Flex Seal crap and just spray the outside of it and seal it up. I probably will smooth it out. As you can see, the hot glue isn't great, but... The thing I got to do now is figure out how to mount it and attach it to that puppy. So the first thing I got to do is clean up all that crap down there. So let's get to that. And as you can see, this is what I'm talking about. It catches the big shavings. Wait a minute. This might just work. Gotta take those metal brackets down notes. Don't need those no more. What do you think? Think this will make a good shelf? I think it will. I can almost set it right there. And just use flex plate from here to there and then the motor can go right here I like it that's what I'm doing so let's get a tape measure and something for our legs thought I had a like the pressure tree to just sit in here that was kind of short, but good enough. And I do. It's right here. Now I have two pieces. I can put it right there. Right there. Put that on top of it. I'll need legs that are approximately eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter it is. Yeah. Lead. I didn't just do them both at the same time, I don't know. But I will now. Now they're the same length. Let's see if it breaks it. That'll work. Yep, 
better hold. Do the other one. That's not the right screw. That'll hold. And let's pre-drill a hole. Again, I can't stress enough that this is uh, very temporary. This is a test. This is only a test. And I will probably be changing it at some point but for now I'm hoping anyways that this will let me test it Make sure. it ain't going nowhere so let's put the legs under it now some people would go and get fancy Baltic birch and oak and all kinds of fancy materials I'm just using scraps because <laughs> it's what I got and again I can't stress this enough for the tenth time this is a test this is a test this is only a test I will probably build a bigger better shelf here Matter of fact, I'll probably do something with under here. Yeah. But for now, that ain't going nowhere. And it's more than enough to just hold that little dust collector. And would I like it to be pretty Baltic birch or something fancy? Hell yeah! Do I care at the moment? No. It may not be pretty, but it is going to be functional for now. Now, those legs right here. I'm probably going to put some kind of brace or something in there to keep them from, you know, they'll, they'll wobble over time. All I have to do is attach that to that now. So I need about that much. I'm going to make it a little bit longer. Okay. New battery time. Cheap electrical tape. Believe it or not, I talked to some VAT guys. They say for air sealing, the cheap, the cheaper the better, the thinner, seals better because it stretches and fills the holes. Is it perfect? No. It's good for temporary attachments, which is what I'm doing here. This is a test. This is only a test. You know, this is a 3D printed collar. And it works pretty well. It's made out of flexible PLA, not even TPU, it's flexible PLA, which again works. I might have to 3D print a collar for that too. But for now, I think I will. Um, in this case, I'll probably use some duct tape to give it structure. Again, I can't stress this enough. This is all temporary. This is a test. This is only a test. Now, if I'm using duct tape for this, I do not wrap it around. You actually go this way. Really wish I could get this thing to sit and be a good boy. You actually go this way. Then, you use the electrical tape to seal it. That's the end of that roll. 
And where that's such a crappy setup, <laughs> this is terrible. I want to add a little more electrical tape to make sure it seals. So now I got to figure out where I'm going to put the motor in. I guess right around there. Right around here. Somewhere in this area. Now I gotta figure out how to mount it. This thing weighs a ton. So basically, right there. So right at the R13 in the insulation, I need to put a bracket. Like my accurate measurement. Here's the old 2x4 or 2x3, excuse me, that I used before. So if I put that right there, it'll clip over it. Or I'll have to put another one down here somewhere to uh, keep it from just falling in. Good. Let's do it. Guess I didn't tighten a bit up. Let's put a level on it just for the giggles. Look at that, it's almost level. This thing is awesome. It's just awesome. Now I have the actual hook. It's basically just a little French cleaty looking thing that I can put right here. This can just go right here. Like so. Now I need something down here to hold it out. I gotta have something I can use. This is a uh, part of my old workmate bench top. <laughs> I think that'll be perfect. Let's see if I can actually get the pipe on it. Just want to cut out this inner curl here. Let's give it a shot. It yeah, looks like it's working. Yeah baby. A little electrical tape on that and I think we got it made. Okay all I do now is reattach that pipe back to the main system because I guess I didn't do it very well the first time, <laughs> and it fell off. They have one of these auto boxes. You plug in the tool here, you plug in the accessory here and or here, and when if the this outlet feels draw from the tool when you turn the tool on. This turns on and starts the vacuum. Now, the other cool thing I like about this particular very old one is it's got like a 30 second delay on shutoff. So when the power stops here on the tool, the vacuum keeps running for 30 seconds, which draws all the dust out of the hose, supposedly. Let's try running this big ass piece of oak through. See what's actually in there. I don't know if I can get this lid off. <clears throat> I didn't put a handle on it for uh, the can to get it off. There we go. All right. 
And there's actually quite a bit in there. Is it perfect? Probably not. Is it going to work for now? Seems to. Let's see what's in the bag. No, I can feel. There's almost nothing in the bag. I mean, I'm sure there's some, but I'm going to say it works. At least basically. So there you have it. The uh, Hokie homemade 4-inch piped dust collector separator seems to be working. It's available on Prusa printers. It's still very much in beta. As you can tell, it's the first, that's the first run I've had on it. Um, i got to fix this pipe right here. This is all twisted. But it is working, which I'm very happy about. I have to do something about this bag, that right there, because that really doesn't filter out the small stuff like I would like it to, but it's better than the crap all over the place. But yeah, for now, um, it seems to be working. Go give it a shot. Let me know how it works for you if you have a 4-inch dust collector in your garage and you want to uh, separate it. This is a test. This is only a test.